Giants have announced a celebrity DJ series this season where featured artists will perform during home games to hype up the crowd and the players. Joining us now, very excited, making his debut on Monday Night Football when the Giants host the Cowboys. Welcome one of New York's own from his breakfast table to our breakfast table. It's DJ Envy. What's hey, up? Hey, Envy. Hey. Hey. hey, guys. Appreciate it. You look guys. good. Thank you. Look at you. On the shirt. Thank you. Uh, listen, you are going to be part of this, this Giants celebrity DJ series, Monday Night Football, Cowboys in town. How are you feeling? I mean, I, I'm feeling great. I think it's about time. You know, mm -hmm. I go to all these other markets, right? You name a city, and they have the, the city behind them. They have the DJs, the celebrities. The Giants, we don't really have that. Mm -hmm. But we have it now. Let's go. That's awesome. 2-0. Oh. So right. you're a lifelong Giants fan. Um, the table is split here because the call has gone out from the head coach to do the whiteout right. at the game. Some say we're too old to be told what to wear. Others <laughs> think it's just a college-style thing. And then there are some at the table that are all bought in. What do you think the environment's going to be like in terms of the fans hearing this call to action? I mean, I, I think it's going to be great. I think an all white is what we need. Let's everybody in uniform. I love how Miami Heat does it in basketball, yeah. so yeah. I love how it looks. So the stadium is going to look mm. amazing. I'm going to make sure the players are amped, the fans are amped, and we're going to get another win. So it's going to be three and zero next time I speak oh. to you guys. Oh, oh yes. Hey, look, but like you're, you're old school Giants fan, like I am. Like you grew right. up with it. It's the New York football Giants, dude. You're telling me you know, we don't have cheerleaders, we don't have T-shirt guns, we don't have we don't have a giant mascot doing zany. Church. You're gonna ask me to do a whiteout? You're cool with it? Yes, we need some of that. <laughs> like we don't have cheerleaders, we don't have a mascot. When you go to the game, it's just hot dogs and players. Yeah. Like we need something to bring excitement Let's go. and. We need to do it. And I everyone like owns it. a white t-shirt. You know, that's yeah. it. Everybody yeah. All right, look, you were a guest alongside this guy on the Eli Manning Show, which debuted yesterday on the Giants YouTube channel. What did you guys do, and what was it like spending a day with two Giants legends? I mean, it was... It was amazing. It was a lot of fun. It was at, at a mall in Jersey, and they were both with their kids. Next time, they, let, they gotta let me know. I'm gonna bring my kids. Okay. Okay. I have six, by the way. <laughs> oh. um, and it was just fun. It, we were just talking sports and just having a great time talking about everything, and we even got a chance to race. And you know, I see, I thought when they retired, they get a little older. No competitive spirit. Yeah, yeah, that's out the window. They wanted to compete yeah. on these, uh, what do they call them? The stuffed animals with wheels? Yeah, I don't know. It was like motorized? Angry Bird yes. Race or something. Oh, yes. yeah, motorized animals. Yes, and Eli cheated. Yes, he put his feet on the floor. Whoa. Shocker. Yes. It is his show, though. It, mm -hmm. You're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like, if, if Eli and Sean were like, all right, we're going to put on the locks and 50 Cent, and it, you'd be competitive, too, and you'd be like, no, you don't get to just do that, right? I mean, You're absolutely right. <laughs> absolutely right. <laughs> oh, Shregs, look, I, I love how you're talking about the old school Giants. Look, the one thing the Giants have done this year, all right, and part of the reason why they're undefeated, they, they, they brought out all the stops. Like, the, the season opening, they had fireworks there. They, they, they had a, a halftime band. It was Howard's band was there. So this is the new, new Giants. We've got a live DJ on on Monday Night Football. Mm -hmm, right. This is a new blue, and everybody's wearing white. But let's talk about your, your, like, you've got a big job here, all right? And there's a lot of pressure right now, all right? We've got a 53-man roster, yep. right? So 53 different likes in music. Everybody in the in the stands, everybody's got their own kind of version, right? You asked Eli what he wanted to hear, and he said George Strait. I mm. doubt you'll be playing any of I'm that. I'm not going to play my exes um, from Texas. I don't even know yeah, the record, yeah, but I'm not playing that one. You, I, I don't think you've ever Texas. heard that full song in its entirety. And I'm sure there's all kinds of requests that you're going to have, yeah, but right. how do you make your playlist? How do you decide what you're going to play? Um, you know, it's it's all about energy, right? And I, I get it. Somebody might want to hear a slow song, but that's not going to work at Giant Stadium. No. Not going to work at MetLife Stadium. I have to play straight energy. So whatever's going to get people working, hyped up, excited is what I'm going to play. I'm the DJ. I'll take care of that. You're the players. I'm not going to run plays for you. So you guys focus on the game. I'll focus on the energy. Mm. Energy. I love one it. One song? Can you give us one? Don't no, give us No, he's not going to. That's the, that's the secret sauce, We're big man. Young Gravy fans. <laughs> big Young Gravy Kyle wants yeah. Pearl yeah. Jam. It's, about, yeah. it's been about seven minutes, and they recently became Young Gravy fans. <laughs> that, you're Young Gravy fans. <laughs> Play the Rick Young Gravy, guys. No, okay. It, it's definitely going to be uh, some New York artists. So okay. you, you're going to hear some Jay. You're going to hear some DMX. You're going to hear some new artists. You're going to hear some young artists. You're going to hear some rock and roll. You're going to hear some hip hop. It's going to be a little bit of everything. Cool. Right? Love cool. it. There's this one song about this guy's got all these ex wives, and they're all from Texas. It's an incredible <laughs> jam. I'm telling you, it bops. Really, it's, it's something like no, that. Right? It? Not, I not have to. Listen, you're the tastemaker. You, of course, are the host of a radio show called The Breakfast Club right here in New York. Everybody knows it. Everybody loves it. Uh, the New Yorkers, 
can be a, a little critical. You know, how does how has that shaped you as a content provider, as an entertainer, right. as, a, as a person? But that's what made me. Like, I was that guy. I was the guy cursing out the Giants when they didn't win. <laughs> I was the guy cursing out the other local New York yeah. teams. That was me, so I get it. So if I mess up, I'm going to get cursed out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to get on my radio show and people are going to curse me out. So I know what? I won't be able to do that. I will not do it. I'm going to win. The Giants are going to win. Tuesday morning, I'm going to be able to talk to my co-host Charlemagne, who's a Cowboys fan, yes. and I'm going to be able to talk smack to him all morning long. I call them the Cowgirls. I don't want to disrespect yeah, them no, on your I program. Get it, I get it. So, I will, why are you looking at me like that? I'm asking. You know, I'm interested. What? What's Charlemagne saying about the Cowboys yeah, right now? What's his take like, what's right his... now? Is he, is he jumping ship or what? Well, you know what? The first game, he said, you know what? Hey, we're gonna get a great pick. <laughs> oh my God! You see, we said the pick the already. Game. Yes, <laughs> week two. He's now going. week two, he's like, oh, we have a chance. Again. So he, you know, he's a rush jersey on. Yeah, yeah, he has his rush jersey on now. But you know, uh, I'm, I'm with him. Hopefully, they have a great pick. Any oh friendly wager between you two? Like, we don't you... wager money. We do push-ups. Oh, oh really? So we do push-ups. So we'll see. You know, it might be 30 push-ups, 40 push-ups. We do that type of game. Uh, How many markets is your show in? You told us 133 100 markets. Three. You are the oh national gosh. conversation. You set the stage. And how? proud would you be if you got to go in on Tuesday morning after a Monday Night Football win? That would be so cool for you. Yes, and if not, I'm going to call out sick and then I won't be at work. There we go. Hey. Hey. You and me both, kid. You and me both. <laughs> yes, right, right. Uh, the Giants celebrity DJ series, Monday Night Football, DJ Envy. Listen awesome. to him on The Breakfast Club. We love you, man. Thank, Thank you so you much for coming by. You're so great. Cool for us. You guys got to come on my show next time. All, all right. of you. Oh, all yeah. Right. We'd love to come on. I'll come on. Deal. As long as I can do the Judd Nelson Breakfast Club all day. I don't know about yours. Can I play my young gravy? Oh, my God. He's not <laughs> well, maybe not. Maybe you guys not invited, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, Maybe I'll take that back. <laughs> yeah. It's Rick Astley, but then they put on... Okay, okay. No, that's really cool. Good luck on Monday, man. Thank you, guys, Thank Thank you guys for having me. All right, time for Will Selva out on the West Coast, which, um, Will, are you a Young Gravy fan now? Now we're just taking a poll of the table. Uh, no, you know what I love is that he actually invited you all on the show and he quickly rescinded it. I and think that's the quickest <laughs> invitation <laughs> Any of you have had <laughs> immediately. And smartest. Peter's like, yeah, can you play <laughs> yeah. Choice is Yours, Black Sheep? It's like, uh, you know. Yeah. I can see DJ Envy well, over there. Like, that's good. That could that's work. Good. That could work. You could get with this yeah. or that.